I was just wandering through my house and I just like had this reality check where I realized it's kind of weird all the stuff I've got laying around. So I thought I'd do a little narration of why my house is so destroyed right now. We'll start with this bowl. It has gooseneck barnacles in it. Uh, you can see my compost here with all kinds of freaking craziness. Peas and onions, kale, and Swiss chard. Uh, these are two different acorn experiments that are uh, leaching. This is kind of cool. Look at the layers that's making right there from the repeated watering. Here we have some olives, which I've found are good to um, put in some fresh water after they've been pickled. Kind of takes the saltiness out. Uh, this is seeds in paper towels. I have cherimoya and also um, strawberry guava. This would be my snack. That's uh, honey. That's in honeycomb. I also have my honey that's dripping. This has been dripping for actually five days now. And you can see it's still dripping. It's like once an hour dripping now. Um, my unsmoked tan hides. I've got avocados getting ripe. This is a bucket full of mussels here. Um, I have a, a pumpkin here, which is starting to mold that I've been cutting off for a few days. A bucket of acorns that I crack every morning. This is a bag of chanterelles that's slowly going bad and I should eat. Obviously, oranges and down lower some avocados. And over here we have a bunch of squash. Uh, those are more olives. These are acorns that have been shelled and are drying. Also kelp that's drying. Um, various seeds that are drying for planting. And this big bucket here, this is my uh, pear brandy that is bubbling off and fermenting, getting ready to be distilled. Pickle bucket full of olives. Uh, in here we have my chestnuts, oatmeal is what's left of my pasta, deer jerky, walnuts that are cracked. This is dried fruit, dried apples, dried persimmons, dried persimmons, more squash, all kinds of weird stuff over here. These are bayberries, uh, sunflower seeds I've collected, mini coconuts, and dried persimmons. And then over here we have uh, limpets ready to be cooked. This is tea that I've been drying out over here. Pulverized chitin that hopefully are gonna be edible. Some three day old rice and beans that I'm about to have for dinner. In this pot we have uh, my cabazone which is getting cooked down to become broth with a little bit of kale and some onions. And this is uh, sea lettuce that's drying so that I can grind it up and turn it into flour. Underneath this, we have acorns, which are getting dried out to be winnowed to get the husks off them and then be ground down into flour. This is a pan that's heating up to fry my limpets, so I guess I should make some dinner and get that started. My house isn't big enough to contain all the experiments that are happening right now.